A couple of days ago, the all-new Ram Rampage was introduced to the public and this new truck took the world by storm. We all expected the Ram Dakota to be reintroduced to the market in order to compete with the Ford Maverick, but we got a different nameplate revival. Still, we cannot complain because from the photos and the specs, this new truck looks really promising. So, promising that this truck immediately shocked the car world, stay with us to find out how the all-new Ram Rampage blows everyone away. Background of the Ram Rampage the compact pickup segment has been very competitive lately with the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. Other car companies know this and they do not just sit there with their hands in their pockets. Everyone wants to get a piece of the cake. So many other car makers were working in the shadows on the Ford Maverick competitor, including Ram. Ram was expected to reintroduce the Dakota nameplate, which was canceled a decade ago. But instead of that, Ram decided to go a completely different route and reintroduce a different nameplate. The Rampage The Dodge Rampage was a subcompact pickup truck that was sold by Chrysler between 1982 and 1984. This model was a Ranchero and El Camino competitor, and the new model will follow the same route. We can honestly say that the Rampage name fits really well to this truck and helps it show its American character. This truck was spotted in Brazil and is also expected to be produced in Brazil first for the South American market and then to be introduced to North America. Platform. The all-new Ram Rampage is expected to replace the existing Ram 700 that was sold outside the U.S. This Ram 700 is a small pickup truck that is based on a unibody chassis built by FCA. This means that this pickup is using a chassis that is used for building compact cars. In other words, this new Ram Rampage is expected to have the driving characteristics of a compact crossover. The unibody platform is an almost certain feature of the new Ram Rampage truck because on the images that are circulating online, you can clearly see that there is no separation between the truck bed and the cabin. This means that the bed and the body are one piece. This is a good thing as we noted since the driving characteristics are better compared to ladder frame trucks. And also bad because this truck will not be able to have a big payload in the rear and the towing capability will be also limited. These are some of the drawbacks, but this is quite expected, considering that there cannot be only positives. Engine Options When it comes to the engine options, one engine will certainly be introduced. This is the 2.0 liter Hurricane engine. The Hurricane lineup of engines is quite new and was designed by Stellantis in order to replace some of the V6 and V8 engines that are in production for a really long time. And if you guessed right, the 2.0 liter Hurricane engine is turbocharged. This inline four is able to push a ton of power from a very small package. This engine is expected to deliver about 270 horsepower and 295 pound per foot of torque in the Ram Rampage. This means that this engine will greatly outmatch the 2.0 liter EcoBoost found in the Ford Maverick. In contrast, this EcoBoost engine only makes 255 HP. Not to mention that since this engine is turbocharged, the tuning options are pretty much unlimited. And with a simple aftermarket tune, you will be able to push a lot more compared to the standard version. Also, there is expected to be a high output version of this 2.0 liter Hurricane engine that will deliver far more horsepower with a bigger turbo. When it comes to the transmissions that are expected to be used in the Ram Rampage, there are two options on the table. The base is expected to be the 6-speed iSCENE AL6 manual transmission, and the second is expected to be automatic. It is not clear yet whether this will be the 8-speed torque flight or possibly the 9-speed ZF automatic, mild hybrid and plug-in hybrid models. In addition to the standard internal combustion engine, two other power plants are expected to be introduced, a mild hybrid and a plug-in hybrid. First, the mild hybrid should be introduced along with the standard version, just like in the case of the Ford Maverick. It is not yet clear which engine will this mild hybrid model use. But considering that this is a U.S. model, we can expect to feature the same 2.0 liter Hurricane engine. This is the case because cars with more power sell a lot better in the U.S. compared to cars with small displacement engines and low power. Although we can see a surprise, possibly the 1.5 Firefly turbo engine that is used in the Dodge Hornet. This engine comes with a mild hybrid setup and would be a no-brainer decision for Ram to include it in the Ram Rampage. 
When it comes to the plug-in hybrid, this model should feature the 1.5 Firefly engine with a 15.5 kilowatt per hour battery pack. This plug-in hybrid should deliver the driver good fuel economy and also a good range only on electric power, more precisely about 30 miles of EV range. And in our opinion, this is more than enough for people who do not drive a lot. Towing and payload capability. The payload and towing numbers play a huge role when it comes to purchasing a truck since these are vehicles primarily intended for work. When it comes to the towing capability, the model is expected to tow about 4,000 pounds maximum. Even though with a special towing package, this towing performance should be increased to about 5,000 pounds. If you understand towing ratings, 5,000 pounds is close to the maximum limit when it comes to unibody chassis vehicles. If you push them higher, the structural integrity of the vehicle will be at risk and you will risk getting damage on the frame. In terms of payload, the maximum capacity should be 1,500 pounds. This model should feature a similar size bed to the Ford Maverick, which is around 4.5 feet. Fuel economy. The fuel economy of the all-new Ram Rampage is also expected to be quite good, in the same fashion as the fuel economy of the Ford Maverick or even better. The numbers should be around 24 mpg in the city, 30 mpg on the highway, and 26 mpg combined for the standard version of the Ram Rampage. But for the hybrid, these numbers are expected to rise up to 40 mpg combined. In addition to this, the plug-in hybrid version that is expected to follow should get at least 49 mpgs and also about 30 miles of EV range alone. This is really good considering that you have both the practicality of a truck and the fuel economy of a compact car. Exterior Design When it comes to the exterior looks, we can simply say that the Ram Rampage is a baby Ram 1500. Ram was clear when they told their designers to create something as similar as possible to the Ram 1500. This model is basically a Ram 1500 at a smaller scale. The only major difference in terms of design that you will notice is probably the portion where the truck bed meets the cabin. On mid-size or full-size trucks, you have a clear separation between the bed and the cab since they are two different pieces. But when it comes to the Ram Rampage, you don't have this separation since both the bed and the cabin are one piece. Overall, the Ram Rampage has a good presence on the road. It has a much bulkier front end compared to the Ford Maverick, and Ford's designers would definitely want to change some things after the initial photos and videos of the Ram Rampage were released. An interesting touch on the Ram Rampage was added on the taillights, where the U.S. flag was embossed and the way that it illuminates is really something special. If you are an American, you will definitely appreciate this. Interior Design and Technology when it comes to the interior, there is not yet any major info, but from the leaks that we found, this interior will be extremely revolutionary and feature a ton of options. There will be soft touch materials everywhere, and the cabin will be a really nice place to be, especially on the higher end trims. There will be a big digital cluster display for the driver to get his information, as well as a big horizontal center screen, which should be about 10.25 inches in diameter. For changing gears, you will have a big dial on the center console that you can move to go into drive, park, or any gear you want. Pricing and Release Date In terms of pricing, the all-new Ram Rampage should come at a price of $24,000. It will be a bit more expensive than the Maverick, but nothing too significant. When it comes to the release date of this truck, things aren't clear yet. The model is expected to debut for the 2024 model year in Brazil. So, if this happens for Brazil and South America, the most probable introduction date for the U.S. market should be this time next year, and the first Ram Rampage will debut for the 2025 model year. This is expected because Ram cannot use the same production line in Brazil for the U.S. market. They have to make these trucks in North America because of the chicken tax law. So, Mexico, the USA, and Canada are the candidates to produce the Ram Rampage truck.